So CBCS really screwed this collector. Or did they? Welcome back to another video. This really popped when I saw it. That to me is a monster increase. Again, this book got hot. This book is ready to go higher. So let's jump right into it. We are back today with another statue review from Diamond Select Toys. Without further ado, let's get into the review. What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and I want to thank you guys for joining me for another video here on the channel. I'm sure you've heard about this one before. We had a fellow collector in our community who bought a CBCS 9.9 Spider-Man 2099 number one, sent it in for a reholder to CBCS and it actually came back at a lower grade. I wanted to share my thoughts on this one, but also I have some new information. So before we get into it, I remind you guys, if you're not a current sub of the channel, do yourself a favor, hit that sub button. You guys know I put out great content here on the channel and I want you guys to enjoy it. Do me a solid though, smash that like button. Everyone out there who watches this video, hit that like button, it really helps the channel out for me. Of course, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs by the end of the year, so do me that favor. With that said, like I said, Dave from Comic Book Investments put out a video about this already, but I have some new info I'd like to share with you guys. So we're going to start from the beginning. Uh, we had a collector in a community who bought a Spider-Man 2099 number one uh, in a CBCS 9.9, an old label. And of course, here is the book right here. You're going to see it. Uh, nice looking book. We all know about this one with the great foil cover, the red cover. He actually purchased this book off of Heritage Auctions for only $588, which to me is actually a not a bad price. I'm going to throw up the GPA data for the last sale of a 9.9. .9, and you guys know the GPA only tracks CGC graded books. But the last sale was way back in 2022 for a whopping $3,400, which to me is absolutely insane now in today's market this book is probably worth anywhere from like a thousand to around twelve hundred dollars for a cgc copy cbcs who knows probably still around a thousand dollars regardless guys he really got a great deal on this book so i was talking to him through ig and he said to me you know what i wanted to send this book in for a reholder because he really liked the new cbcs label so he decided to do that and guess what he got a crazy email from cbcs so i'm going to go ahead and read it to you it says this I'm contacting you regarding your order number. I regret to inform you that there was an error in grading your Spider-Man 2099 originally graded at a 9.9. .9. Upon closer inspection, it should have only originally received a 9.6. Nevertheless, we pressed it and managed to elevate the overall grade to a 9.8. I apologize sincerely for any inconvenience caused. Should you have any other questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to assist you. Thank you. Now, with that said, after talking to this gentleman for a little bit, he said, I talked to the customer service rep. Supposedly, it was misgraded initially by a grader who they had a few years ago and no longer there. Like, how is it possible they decide to regrade my comic and press it on a reholder order without even notifying me what I'd like to do? So he brings up really two interesting points. First, that CBCS knew they had a rogue grader in their system and they didn't address it or they let books actually keep getting graded by this person which we're going to touch on later on in this video but cbcs actually cracked this book decided it was not a 9.9 .9, and pressed it without contacting the owner of this book now to me that's a little ludicrous again something we're going to talk about a little later but i wanted to get you guys all the facts up front and then we'll discuss everything that kind of went on in this situation with that said, I actually have pictures of the back and front of this book. We're going to start where CBCS says where the damage came from, and that's why this book is not a 9.9. .9. You can see this blemish right here on the back of the book, almost some color rub or color loss, maybe even a little bit of a stress line, which caused this book not to be a 9.9 .9 anymore. Regardless, this is why CBCS went ahead and gave this book a lower grade, a 9.6. So they actually sent him the book back and it came back a 9.8 with that new label. So I myself actually like the label, but a few things that kind of went on here in this situation is a big no-no to me. So we're going to go through the facts right here, right now, and actually go through them one by one. The first thing that CBCS did originally was misgrade the book, right? Whenever this rogue grader was there, they misgraded this book, graded it a 9.9. .9. 
They have to have more than one person looking at these books, obviously, and they let it go and misgraded this book at a 9.9. So let's get into number two. At some point, they knew they had a rogue grader and did nothing about it. Of course, I think they probably keep records of each person and what book they grade, the serial numbers. They did nothing, notified no one. They let these books go out with the wrong grades and hoping no one would notice. That sounds like something CGC would do in my opinion. Let's keep moving on. The next thing, in my opinion, they should have inspected the book prior to cracking to make sure that this book looked like a 9.9, .9, right? If they had noticed that in the back of the book before they actually cracked it open, what they could have done was contact the owner of this book and say, hey, there is something inside this book that is making us say this book is no longer a 9.9 .9 before cracking it. What do you want us to do? At that point, I'm sure the person who owned the book would have said, send me the book back, do nothing. I don't want this book cracked. Regardless, they went ahead and cracked it anyway, pressed it and got it back to a 9.8. The next question I'm going to bring up to you guys is did the CGC scam cause this? We all know about what CGC did, reholder scam that took place. These books were coming in. They never looked at these books at all. They just kind of put them in a new case and sent them on their way. Once CBCS heard about this, did they start actively looking at new books when they came in, when they were asked for reholders? I don't know because this is the first time I'm ever hearing about anything like this happening before on a reholder. So did they take a note from CGC and say, hey, we have to start looking at these reholders to make sure this is not going to happen to us either. And that's why they went ahead and did this. So I'm going to bring up my next point. And to me, it's the most important point I'm going to bring up. Did they do the right thing for the hobby? Yes, they realized that this book was not a 9.9 .9, and they wanted to give this book the correct grade. Is that the reason why they didn't contact the owner of this book before they cracked it out? I do say this, I give CBCS a lot of credit for doing this. I don't think that CGC would have gone ahead and said, let's crack this book out and give it a lower grade. I think they probably would have sent it on saying, let's not upset the customer. Let's give him the same grade, get it recased and move on. With that said, I do think CBCS did the right thing for the hobby and getting this book the correct grade. I want to also give you some information after speaking with the owner of this book right now, CBCS has contacted him and offered to make amends for his purchase of this book. Now, obviously he could have turned around and sold this book at a 9.9 .9 for probably around a thousand dollars or more. With that said, the last sale of a 9.8 was only $91 in April of this year. And we all know, like I said before, that is only for CGC graded books. Either way, they have said they will make amends and refund him the difference in price for this book. So I'm happy to see that CBCS came through for this customer and actually did the right thing. Uh, a week ago when I heard about this, he had not heard back from them, but they finally reached out today and said, I just need somebody to sign off on the refund and it's going to be yours. So kudos to you, CBCS. I know the thumbnail for this video kind of portrays a different story, but at some point we had not heard anything. So I really think that they were going to kind of screw this collector, but either way, they did the right thing. They're going to reimburse him and I'm happy for the customer and of course for CBCS because that is the kind of customer service you should be expecting. So with that said, hopefully it goes through and there's no issues from here on out. But let's bring up another point, guys. You guys know I have a Batman 1 CBCS and I also have a Detective Comics 31 CBCS that I wanted to get reholdered into the new CBCS labels. I can honestly tell you right now, I will not be doing that because I am definitely afraid that somebody missed something and they may try to give these books a lower grade or a different designation, right? So you have to be very careful on these reholders. If you don't need your book to be absolutely reholdered, I'd probably be staying away right now because you can obviously see in our hobby, there are definitely things going on that should not be. So with that said, we have books out there that are misgraded from all different companies. We have books out there that are missing things that don't notate it on the slab. So you have to be very careful buying slabs nowadays. I do think CBCS wasn't intentional about doing this, but like I said before, when you have a rogue grader and you know there are books out there that are graded incorrectly, and we have a notation of what those books are supposed to be, why not recall those books? Why not put out a note that say, hey, just like CGC did, these books are affected, they were graded incorrectly, we need you to send those books in so they can be corrected. I have no information about how many books are out there that are not graded correctly. Regardless, guys, either way, be very careful right now with slabs. I've been saying it for the better part of a year or so. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do think right now 
now if you're looking to buy slabs you have to be very careful and with that said if you're buying raw and submitting i think that is always your best bet hope you guys enjoyed the video this is lawrence over at mighty commons collectibles saying thank you for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon